So, before I start I will uh, my lecture is on summary writing, but I thought I will spend some time because uh, many of you had uh, questions on what to do, what are our roles, when and so on. So, before I present I would like you to ask something about what are the things that you have uh, most difficult to relate to, I mean what is it that you want to know. So, uh, this is one question, a related question somebody else asked was uh, do we have to be there for entire uh, workshop. The answer to both of that is your role there is uh, actually not only as a manager of the course, of course you are all you are manager of the course there, but you are also conduct the course just as we are conducting the course. So, the instructors from here will uh, give some tutorial assignment, right? Like the way you did some activity here, right? So, today Sahana uh, asked you some questions. So, on that day, Sahana will still be uh, doing that questions from here, okay? Now, when the people respond, okay, to those questions, you will be interacting with them directly. See, not we cannot see all of them, right, at the same time. But you will be actually conducting the course. What we will do is the material that is going to be used in the tutorial, it's like slide, do this, do that, all that will be given to you beforehand, before the workshop begins. So, even in a case that there is a, a intermittent uh, AVU problem or network problem, you can still continue. Because that schedule from say 9 to 10.30 is for um, uh, writing elevator pitch. So, the instruction like the way you saw today, there will be a slide which will tell one do this, do this, do that. If normal internet connection is there, the person from here, the instructor from here will do it and you will uh, get the audience feedback, interact with them, tell them how they can improve and so on. Okay, but let us say it fails, the internet fails or the AVU fails, the power, there is a power failure or whatever. And that time you will take over and you will take our role there and then continue it. So, by 9 to 10 30 that exercise is done. So, for that we need material. Yes, that is what I said. The material that will be used for the workshop, like the presentation that you saw today, there were some presentations which will go in the online, some presentations which will go in the workshop. That material will be given to you before the workshop. Sir, but then uh, competence also is required, just the material, like here there are 12 uh, faculties coming and presenting and uh, if the role then comes down to only one individual he has to play all the 12 faculty role, will it not be difficult? Material fine. See, ultimately we… Or should we be arranging faculties no, for that? No, no, no. no. See, ultimately the point of this course is that all of us should be able to do any of these things. That is the ultimate objective. Today after I see this, in fact, Sahana will not be here in December. He is going for some conference or something. So, I will be doing that role here. It does not… So, the whole objective of this course is that all of us will take… will be… should be able to take each of this. Of course, it takes time. That is why… A view is there, that is why we are going to relay it from here. But I am saying in a case of a failure, you will have to take over. I am saying only in the case of a failure. Apart from that, there will be the interaction that like you can give some, some, some people ask some questions. Now you know, you know more than them, right? You know that somebody yeah, asked yeah. a question, we you could answer that just as the way we evolved answers, you will be answering them. And if that is not possible, you will uh, push that question here. No, but then right. when there One is a minute. failure, uh, holding on to the audience, if it is only 5-10 minutes, okay, you can take a question or pass it. But if it for a longer duration, then it would be a bit difficult. Why? Why should? You are a teacher. No, because, no, I am a teacher, but not uh, an okay. all-rounder in all these subjects. No, no, it, it need not be, but the thing is… Expertise uh, has to be there. Yeah, so that those are all… So, if, if something fails, then some… you can't help those, you can go to the… So I think… So, just for that reason, no, you should not go and get a special teacher. You are here not just as managers, but also potential 
teachers of this sir the materials will be given in the form of uh, what form Is we will give the material in uh, a ppt form ppt form we can download and yes you can modify it later for your use but for this it's better we keep it like that because suppose say a uh, net fails or something like that okay maybe the video fails only audio is coming so you can display the same set of slides so at the at the moment please don't modify it but you are most welcome to use it later you use the content later so before the workshop we can copy down all the ppts yes and yes keep yes, it yes all that will be shared with you i'll show you how it will be shared but it will be shared with you yes so the uh, recording of this workshop that is this people who are recording us now that is also available so worst case you might want to use some of this material in case something fails but it's okay i mean one of them yeah yeah in in despite all these efforts that we take to run the smoothly if there something happens in between and if uh, we need to contact somebody here will there be any online like help available what, uh, no no so what kind of uh, failures are it like disaster or no a, a technical snack oh you mean sir, during the during the workshop comment, yes as i said in my presentation we will be giving you dedicated helpline numbers so if you have a technical uh, problem you know which person to contact okay thank you okay okay so now um, i will let me just go through some uh, aspects of this uh, what roles that you be different people are going to play and uh, what is the point of interaction here point of interaction for me is websites there are four important websites of course email and phone all those things are there but the whole course is interaction is through these four websites so let me just list it down here so there will be four websites you will be interacting nmict website moodle coordinator workshop there is a moodle course and coordinator workshop that is one then iit bombay x the third one then moodle main workshop fourth one so there are only four interaction points but not all of them will be interacting with everything okay i will go into one by one so there are four websites there are four roles uh, iit bombay that is this program many of us here um workshop coordinator which is all of you teachers who will be registering later for this course and the center coordinator for us it's the remote center coordinator for you it's a local center coordinator okay some of you might be both workshop coordinator and center coordinator right but there are four roles <coughs> so there are four roles four websites so i will just take you through this uh, diagram so there are four websites nmict or four roles first of first of all iit bombay workshop coordinator teachers and center coordinators okay four roles iit bombay of course will be interacting with all the four websites nmict moodle cw which is coordinator workshop uh, iit bombay x and moodle main you workshop coordinators again will be interacting with all the four website nmict moodle uh, coordinator workshop iit bombay x as well as moodle main the teachers will have only three to interact nmict iit bombay x and moodle main center coordinators will interact only with nmict website okay now begin 
So uh, let's fast forward and we are already in coordinators workshop now. 24th August to 28th August. Yeah, 24th to 28th coordinators workshop. And now there is actually no interaction with uh, websites now, except that like some of you did yesterday, you have to register yourself as a user in IIT Bombay X website. Most of you did yesterday. Those of you who, who have not done it, please register yourself as a user. Okay? You can't do anything more than registering user because there are no courses, only the demo course is available. Other than that, you cannot enroll for a course. So I'm using two words here. One is register, other is enroll. Okay, although in English it may be the same, register here means registering you as a user, enroll means enroll for a course. So there are uh, 1000 courses in IIT Bombay X. You register yourself as a user and you selectively enroll for whatever course you want. Okay, so that is the difference between register and enroll. So these dates will be slightly plus or minus a uh, few days, so that is not so important. 30th of August or 31st of August, we are going to announce the STTP course. So this, um, the online course will come up in IIT Bombay X, very dummy, nothing you, you can see. But it, from our side, we will put it up there. For, by 4th September, we are going to advertise the short term program. Can you just tell how we are going to advertise that? We have a database of uh, all the participants who have uh, taken uh, part in our workshops earlier. So it's about uh, 1 lakh teachers on our database. We send them uh, an email and we also have our website running. Uh, we have the uh, brochure on our website. <coughs> so that's the way we uh, advertise. Also, you will be given a soft copy of uh, the brochure which you can use to uh, print out and advertise in colleges around your college. Okay. So that happens around 4th September when we advertise and you can also pass the information around. Okay, so now 4th September when we announce it, from 4th September teachers will go to NMICT website okay, and register as a user. First they have to register as a user. Okay, And then there are lots of courses again in NMICT, they have to apply for each of the course. Now some of the teachers who have already come to IIT Bombay for some course uh, or the other, if they already have an NMICT user login, they can use that. Okay, they can continue to use the old user ID. If they don't have an old user ID, they create a new user ID and then apply for this course. Okay, they apply for this HTTP course. I mean, this question always comes up. You are the workshop coordinators and not participants of the workshop. So there will be one person, one role kind of a thing. You're either a participant or a workshop coordinator. No, but in the, no, no, in the IIT Bombay X, they will do. No, no, IIT Bombay X, you have to sign up anyway. But for the NME ICT, you are not to sign up. Because NME ICT, what, um, you already signed up there for this course. You're already a course coordinator. You don't have to do anything there. So that you see that there is no action for you during this time. Now this is between uh, 4th September and 1st October. So the 1st October is really pushing it to the last. Okay, Because the next week the course is going to start. 8th October course is going to start. So 4th September to 1st October is when the site will be open for applications from teachers. So teachers register and then apply. Simultaneously, you can also ask those teachers to register themselves in the IIT Bombay X, which is independent activity. Okay, anybody can register in IIT Bombay X. Okay, there is no restriction. Even if, let's say, some somebody registers in NMICT and their application gets rejected for some reason, they can still register for IIT Bombay X and take other courses there. Nothing stops them. That IIT Bombay X is open to everybody. Anybody with an email address can register in IIT Bombay X. Okay. All right. So now once somebody has registered, we validate those applicants. 
whether they have certificates and uh, other uh, requisites. So after they apply there, we validate them. After we validate, the center coordinators will log into NMICT website and then approve the applicants. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot one step here. One thing I missed out here for center coordinators. Center coordinators uh, will have to, I'm sorry, I, I skipped this step. So when we advertise for the STTP, the short term in um, September, the uh, teachers cannot register until the center coordinators put their center capacity in their website. Am I correct? So Your center will be visible only after you have completed this particular so step. It will be before 4th September, right? Yeah. Starting from 4th September onwards. No, no. The, when they have to re register the... Uh, as soon as we announce. No, if it should be before that, no. If when we announce, then teachers will come and log in. They will not find a center in their name. No, no, I think it's better to do it before. Okay. Let's do it before. We will do it on first. So we'll, we'll do it one day before. Thanks for pointing that out. Yeah. Because uh, um, earlier, I think they were doing it one day later it came. Yeah. But let's do it. This is a better suggestion. So let's do it one day before. The center capacity will be done on third. No, by third. By third, you should uh, end of center capacity. We will give them time from first to third to complete the... No, now. Even now they can do it, right? We don't have a list ready yet. We don't okay. have that link ready yet, so okay. it has to be between first and third. Okay, between first and third, the center coordinators will fill in the center capacity. So once the center capacity is up, then your teachers will be able to view what is the center close to their uh, location. Seats, number of seats. Yes, you have to register the uh, capacity of your center, how many seats you are going to provide. Hmm? And all that cost and all those things. How many seats and how many computers you can uh, offer to the participants? Yeah. Yes. 30 chairs, 30 systems. Yes. With uh, a, a view, that facilities of that. A view facility is, is compulsory. Uh, it's there. It's there. It uh. has to be there. In our lab, it is fixed <coughs> for uh, 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 your uh, uh, programs. I think this particular information is known to all remote center coordinators. Yes. So, I think workshop coordinator need not to worry about. No, workshop no. coordinator shouldn't worry about this, but uh, make sure that you inform your remote center coordinator to fill this in. In our, in, in because one. Because this particular login is going to be given only to remote center coordinator and not to workshop coordinator. We expect that the remote center coordinator will complete this step. So, once a center is visible, the teachers will be able to register and apply for that particular center. Okay, so once the teacher applies, we validate the teacher. After we validate, again the center coordinator needs to approve, give the final approval. Okay, your payment. No, 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 center coordinator. The point. approval is done yes. by the central coordinator. The approval is done by the remote center coordinator after the participant pays the fee. The approval is totally dependent upon whether the participant pays or not. Once he, pay, he or she pays, then the uh, participant is turned to confirmed. That way you, your RCC also knows how many people will be coming to his, his or her center. Okay? Sir, I wanted to ask one thing. Sir, uh, this... Uh, we need systems also. So the systems which will we need, uh, they will be different from the AVU place or uh, they have to be in the AVU only? They need not be in the AVU classroom. You will have a different session for uh, the computers. So you can take them to the uh, computer lab and bring them back to the uh, classroom. When you advertise, please uh, mention that it is open for uh, any faculty of any engineering. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. We, we will be doing all that. We are going to say engineering and science. Okay. Engineering, science, polytechnic or and teachers of uh, PG uh, colleges, science colleges. Or yes. pe people in the arts, uh, humanities who take courses for engineering. Okay, they will understand that it is only uh, knowing for, meant for English faculty. Okay. That's why you make it clear that any faculty of engineering also uh, 
Sir, the title is technical yes. communication. No, no, no. But, but it's, here, just, just yeah. write it down. Yeah. This is the point now. And the reason for the competition uh, from our institution is basically uh, from a science and scientific Tell me, in suppose say university has got humanities division, okay? Uh, are they the ones who usually take this course, or people from the engineering faculty, or they have some specialized teachers? Who take the in course? College is only English department. When they found that topic, technical communication, immediately the browser will come to English department. Yes. Even the administrative side. Okay. So, what do you suggest we should do? Uh, open to all departments. Okay. You mean in the somewhere in the subject itself, we should write open to all departments? In that category, uh, you can mention it very clearly that this course is meant for all, uh, all the disciplines. So then which department will it go? It will go to all departments? All. Uh. They make a copy and send it, is it? See, if I give a content, the registrar office will not understand all those things. As you said, it is right, it's open to all departments. You put us something like that, so they make a copy and send it. That is better. What will registrar office know about what the contents are? They will not understand that. It's not the question of uh, not opening to all, but how do we title the subject or attention in the mail okay definitely that is open Hello. but i think your your point is well taken that we will uh, whenever uh, we can make it open to all but our certificates are meant for teachers of engineering colleges only so no, no. that is your responsibility to tell us amongst your participants which ones are teachers of engineering. They will get the ITBX uh, honor code, but they will not get the IST certificate. No, no, but if they IST do, certificate, no, no, IST certificate is only for teachers of science and engineering colleges. If he gets colleges. school children. No, 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 science and engineering colleges, but yeah. in his, it's not that school teachers. We are not talking about school teachers. In computer science, from computer science, from science faculty. That, perfect. Right. Yes. The whole point of this is to train the teachers who will teach, you teach research scholars, you teach uh, um, undergraduate students, that is up to you. This STTP is only for teachers, okay. Your, the research scholars, not this semester, next semester, this course will go free in uh, um, IIT Bombay X. At that time, anybody can register. So we don't, we don't, we should not tell research scholars at the moment. This is only for teachers who will be teaching research scholars, who will be teaching undergraduates. That is up to you. We do make an exception for teaching associates who are uh, teachers from your college who are also doing their M Tech or PhD. We make that exception, but they should be teachers in the first place. Teachers from uh, Martins and Colleges also who teach uh, electronics and something. No, no. See, arts, can I, I repeat? See, the arts and science colleges, if they are going to use this subject in their curriculum, nothing stops them. No, no. There are two things here. One is using for their own personal gain, one. Second thing is that using it for teaching somebody else. The whole objective of this course is that we are providing you some material which can be used for teaching other people. Now one potential use of this could be, as I said in my first day, let us say not this semester, next semester when this course goes online, you can conduct a course in your college for all the arts and science people in the locality. You use IIT Bombay X and you conduct tutorials. You call anybody. You understand my point? You have the next time, that is now we are just training teachers. Next time these teachers, you, you tell that okay, I am going to offer this course on technical communication. All the research scholars can come and join. I am going to teach this course on technical communication. All the um, people in the arts and science colleges who are doing their PhD or who are interested in research can come and join. What will you ask them to do? You ask them to register for IIT Bombay X for free. 
you conduct parallel tutorial sessions synchronized with that and at the end you give a certificate or whatever right you get my point sir i have a question sir sir like calcutta university has communicative english in their syllabi for the undergraduate so those teachers cannot join this course no teachers of undergraduate courses are not allowed non engineering okay. disciplines we uh, treat only uh, teachers of pg courses okay only so anyone who is teaching ma in english no. say in calcutta university can she join this course technical oh, technical so communication has to be technical yes okay iit bombay x course is only by invitation only by invitation means all of you plus approved teachers who have registered on an meict okay only approved teachers and all of you are will be given invitation to join iit bombay x so next semester onwards you are welcome to use iit bombay x combine it with your own tutorials and you can if it's part of your curriculum you can use it maybe in your curriculum only 80% of iit bombay x material is there right you can use only those portion and then conduct your own okay and since it is an invited workshop only even if your students register on iit bombay x they will not be able to see this okay so now we are here when the teachers apply and then we validate the applications after that the center coordinator approves the individual teachers after getting the 1000 rupees payment what kit Uh, as we provided here from our writing skill that is totally up to you and can we use uh, our logo on that uh, script that is uh, kit as long as you don't forget to use iit bombay also <laughs> <laughs> so along with I, uh, iit bombay we can also use our logo yes thank you as if uh, madam told that uh, you, you have uh, 1 lakh and above data no madam um, as if we we are from different different states and different different districts uh, can you uh, give us the data of the which district we belongs to no no, no. Uh, that that will no not that data is uh, we so will that not we can also share. advertise very easily to them and we can motivate them to come now what no. we can do what we can do is probably share the colleges but we cannot share the email no, address no we cannot share private email like okay. this email address we can't share can target other than that one lakh because they are targeting one lakh no no but he is no, asking they, can we get the database but the database see, they, they, you will send a mail to them that's all they may not respond to the a single that's mail that's true but that's the uh, what we can say is probably we can share the colleges list yes yeah it's it's up to you colleges but list we can share no but i think it's not right to share the email i understand your concern address. but these are private email ids and we cannot share them okay now so this whole of registration process and final approval of each teacher will have to be completed by 3rd october we will finally confirm the participants up to 1st october is when they will register 3rd october is from our side final list will be done by 3rd there's absolutely nothing after 3rd october not from your side from our side and this verification and approving from your side is a ongoing activity you don't have to do it after the registration stops you can do it as and when as and when a person is uh, verified or validated yeah. from iit bombay so once all the participants are confirmed we will automatically register the participants or and also enroll them in the moodle course okay for iit bombay x you do the registration we do the enrollment for moodle we do both together both registration as well as enrollment to the course so iit bombay x the users do the registration that is creating a user id users create the user id we enroll them by invitation it is in the iit bombay x in the fourth which is moodle main uh, site we do both the registration of user id as well as 
enrollment in this course automatically. But that will happen only on 3rd October after everybody is finalized. This we will do the registration automatically with the same user ID which we started off with. Do they have to do anything? They don't have to do anything. No, they do have to do something. Where? Once, they the are, once they are confirmed, they will get an email from us with the Moodle link, just as you people were. And they just have to click on that. That's all. Yeah, that is just like changing password kind of thing. They don't have to register in. Okay, so then this happens. Now, one thing that I would like to stress is that when these teachers register in IIT Bombay X, like yesterday we stressed, they have to use the same user ID as they used in the NMICT website. Same user ID. Right? That you need to stress. We will also uh, tell in our mails. So, as I said, we will be auto-enrolling all the participants, which is uh, you, as well as, see, currently you are, in, you are enrolled only in Moodle 1, which is coordinator workshop. By 3rd October, you will be enrolled, you along with the teachers will be enrolled in the Moodle main. We will also enroll you by invitation. We will invite you at the back end. Okay? We will enroll you to IIT Bombay X, which means by this time, all of you, including the teacher, should have completed IIT Bombay X registration by this time, here. Right? So I have said that registration of IIT Bombay X completes there itself, 1st October. By 4th October, we would have finished everything. Everything is ready to go. Online course starts 8th October, ends 9th November. Course starts and course ends. So here what you have to do? Nothing to do in NMICT website, nothing to do in uh, coordinator web uh, website. But now you are also a student or participant in the IIT Bombay X. So you have to view the vid videos, complete the self-assignments. Similarly, there will be home assignments and peer review in Moodle. So all the home assignments that comes part of this online course, okay, online course, self-assessment and home assignment will be done on Moodle, self-assessment will be done on IIT Bombay X, home assignment and peer review on Moodle. So you will be doing this and so the teachers. The teachers will also view the videos and carry out self-assessments on IIT Bombay X. They will also do the home assignments and peer review in Moodle. So this is common to both of you. The course ends 9th. By 11th November, you should be able to download the honor certificate, which is you have completed the IIT Bombay X. Okay. Difference between honor certificate and other certificate is IIT Bombay X cannot tell that you are the person who completed. Okay. Anybody on your behalf could have completed that because we cannot be sure. Okay. In a real life situation, if you want a real certificate from IIT Bombay X, although we don't have that mechanism now, for example, if you, if you the same thing is available in Stanford University or uh, MIT, you know, MIT. So the, the way that ha happens there is, you have to pay some $25 per course or $50 per course. $50. 50? But some of them are 25 too. So let's say $50. You pay $50 and then the exams that you take, apart from the online self, there will be detailed exams. You have to go to a particular center where they will see your identity card and make sure you are the person giving that exam. And then they will, that means that somebody on behalf of MIT, okay, some center on behalf of M MIT has verified that you are the person who came. And for that, you will get a MIT certificate, correct? IIT Bombay X also will eventually do uh, that. We are, uh, we are not yet uh, done. We don't, not yet, we don't have that yet. But definitely honor certificate, all of you who have completed this can download. Similarly, the teachers also can download the honor certificate from IIT Bombay X. There is no honor certificate for Moodle. So there's only IIT Bombay X honor certificate is there. So that's the end of online. Now, 
the next following week we will put up as somebody asked the material that will be required for the face to face workshop. The face to face workshop is between 30th November and 5th December. So, before that we will put up all this material it may be PPT files or set of documents which you need to print and pass it around whatever the material is to be shared with the uh, participants all that will be available in the coordinators workshop model ok not this model. This is the place where the instructors will interact with you ok. We will put all that material in the coordinator workshop and you will download it from coordinators workshop Moodle. It is not a very complicated thing you will get a email ok we shall simply have a download link. So, do not get need no need to remember in that sense ok the email link will directly will take you to this website. So, once you download that the main workshop begins uh, 30th November and the main workshop as we do the tutorials there could be some small assignments which might require peer evaluation and those things might come will if it is there it will come in this Moodle main workshop. Now, you are a participant. So, suppose you have to evaluate other participants that will be there and participants also will evaluate other participants that is also will be there. Suppose in the workshop we ask them to write a paragraph and you, are, you ask them to make a presentation you ask them to evaluate something of that sort could be that not for all activities some activities may have that. So, that is the end of the workshop during the workshop you as workshop coordinator you have to interact with the NMICT website by uploading your workshop daily attendance ok. As was pointed out in the first day you will have to take a printout, take the signature, scan it and upload it the next day. So, that will be available in the NMICT website you upload to the NMICT website not to the Moodle. After the workshop ends we will again put up some small assignment for the teachers not for you. For the teachers we will put up some assignment in the Moodle main Moodle which they have to complete by 2 weeks. So, 6th, 5th December it gets over 6th December it will be up by 2 weeks they have to complete the assignments. So, to summarize there are 4 websites there are 4 roles not all of them interact with all IITB of course, IITB and workshop coordinator interact with all the 4 uh, websites teachers will interact with only NMICT, Monty Bombay X and Moodle main center coordinator will only interact with NMICT website ok. We will share this in the Moodle course this one coordinator. So, anything that is between coordinators and IIT Bombay this kind of sharing documents or general this today's presentation files all that will be in this coordinator workshop. So, uh, so Diwali would be I think very immediately starting. Correct. Uh, so, it was just one request if you can finish the online courses just by 7th or 8th. See ahead. online courses there is no meaning of finishing ok. okay. What it means is that the last week the so week starts on Thursday and ends on Wednesday. So, 5th to 11th is the week ok. That means that by 5th on 5th itself all the material that is required then for the entire week is given to you. Then Since that is the last week you can attempt that questions on 5th this is 5th November or you wait finish up Diwali crackers and then do it after after that it is up to you ok. So, from our side because it is the last week if it were the in between week then next week's assignment would have come which is why we just finished it off by all from all material from our side will be up on 5th. We do not need to put anyway the deadline will be one one week plus after that. In fact, downloading will have to change the date it will be little late. So, submission the final submission will definitely be one week after Diwali ok do not uh, worry about that. 
Yes, all of these things will be given to you. You can uh, send, print it out and keep it. Main workshop is 30th November to 5th December, 6 days. 6 day. 6 day workshop, Monday to Saturday. Regarding this uh, attendance, where to put it uh, uh, online? Enter the attendance online and uh, take it physically and scan the documents and upload it. Yes. No, no, both, no. both. No, no, no. Yes, both. There are two yes. steps yeah. and we will send you the link for it. On NME ICT. One minute. See, the question is during online course, do they have to come to the AV? No. A online is meant to be taken anywhere on their mobile when they travel in train or bus or whatever they want. And there is no also time restriction? No time restriction, okay. except there is a submission time. Like suppose this week I give a quiz, 10 days from now there is a submission time. Any time from today to 10 days from now you can submit it. Okay, sir. There is nothing like you have to take the quiz from 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock today, nothing like that. Okay? You can take the quiz anytime you want, only there is a submission deadline. So, they need to observe uh, submission deadline within that uh, stipulated period, they need to submit anytime they can use it. Anytime they can view, anytime they can sub submit within that deadline. Thank you, sir. Any questions? For earlier workshops, uh, you were paying some amount to the co center coordinator and workshop coordinator. Yes. What about this time? Sir, you did not read the brochure. No, no, I, 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 I have gone through. <laughs> we are not paying anything to the remote centers this time. Your remote center coordinator must have come to us on 29th November and it was in that meeting that it was decided that there will be no funds from IIT Bombay for this particular workshop to the remote centers. So that is why we have decided on this 1000 rupees fee from the participant and whatever your expenditure is, it, you have to fit it into that uh, fee that the participant gives you. This, this is the first workshop in that from now. The new workshops will be in this mode and we are also, see the thing is, when MHRD funded, we could support it. But now, the idea is, that that was an experimental phase, how it works to see how it works. Okay, maybe MHRD might come two years later and say, don't ask the colleges, I will pay for them, we are happy to do. At the moment, we don't, we are not doing that, we are saying that, because each college can fund small amount, it's not a big amount, right? 1000 rupees per teacher is nothing, okay? Even if it's 3000 rupees per teacher, it is nothing. Excuse me, okay. madam. So, all that will be taken care of. We'll, we need to evolve and see which method works, okay? So, we have tried one, we are going to try the other. What is for future, we need to see. Ultimately, MHRD money coming directly or through somebody else, it's okay. So, the cost of free and this will be, I know. Exactly. All this was discussed in the remote center coordinators meeting. Uh, we had a lot of people expressing that when some, something is for free, madam, nobody, uh, you know, uses it properly or people come just for the uh, certificate. Now, we are actually making them pay for it and work for it also. It was very difficult to hold them up for two weeks. Fine. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. So, that is why so we reduced making, it to one week. Can you make it 10,000 then? <laughs> Thousand rupees is nothing, man. Five, five days, thousand rupees. I mean, just leave and it and the go. the minimum fee to come to IIT Bombay for a uh, CEP continuing education program is t ten thousand rupees. Excuse me. Any provision is there to take a TA, technical, that is teaching assistant for this course or not? You can take a TA, but you, I mean, if there is any money involved, you have to take care of it. Okay, the institute has to pay. Yes. Yes. Or from your pocket. <laughs> We would like to have a minimum of 30, but I do understand that there are some centers which are really remote and they, they may not, not be that many people. So, at least 10 people in such centers, but we do expect a minimum of 30 in other centers. Upper limit is uh, you have to provide comfortable uh, seating for your participants. Okay, so I've got just half an hour.